Good morning, everybody. It's Steve Levy. It's uh, Tuesday, April 18th, and <clears throat> I was driving back from Southern California, and it was like the biggest tease of my football desires because I was unable to make it to the game because of work. And so I was down in uh, the Southern California area oh, Wednesday night and uh, thought I could make it through to the game and uh, one thing led to another. So what I did get to do was watch it on our beloved Pac-12 network. And uh, that doesn't happen often since I can't get Pac-12 network on my home service, but the person I was with uh, was able to show the game live, and so we were able to watch it. And, uh, you know, it's a spring game. And it looked like a pretty good turnout. I, I've seen numbers from 25,000 to 50,000. I've seen the haters compare us to <clears throat> South Carolina's spring game and our spring game, when, in fact, we don't even open up the full Coliseum. We only open up one side, which is in the non-sun-facing side uh, or the west side, southwest side. And, uh, you know, how they, how they get to those points, it's just amazing to me. But haters are out in numbers, and uh, that's a good thing for USC because it means people are worried. People are starting to take notice. And uh, during the, watching the spring game, and I'm taking my notes and going through all the things that you do when you're anal trying to self-analyze uh, what's happening from a television perspective, very different than if you're there. Uh, actually, I... I I always believe that uh, being at a game is paramount to anything. But as far as analyzing what's going on and getting the benefit of replay and everything else that goes on, uh, even with Pac-12 Network, uh, I find I can go into you know a deeper analysis. So, you know, a lot of hype about the defense being uh, much better, and, and I would say it's improved. I don't know how you determine it's much better at this point. Uh, not unlike I don't think the offense can be... Uh, viewed as incredibly improved. Uh, nothing, you know, ones versus ones, and, and certainly all the uh, cameo appearance, appearances by what, what will be the starters uh, going forward. Uh, the one area that I liked was I thought the defensive line was making a push against a good offensive line uh, periodically. Uh, those freshman running backs... Uh, I'm sorry. I know when they came in that maybe the defense wasn't at its personnel best, but they still made the plays. And not only did they make the plays, but they ran with a purpose. They ran and made decisions quickly. You don't see that too often with uh, true freshmen uh, in a spring game. So uh, very impressed. And, and, you know, the running back room, I think, is going to be exciting to watch develop. Um, Austin Jones did what Austin Jones does and didn't get a lot of touches, but, you know, he looked strong and, uh, you know, it kind of, kind of caused me concern that he looked so strong because I was really hoping the defense was going to be keeping our running backs, you know, three and under, three yards max and under on average. But it is spring. It is what it is. And, uh, you know, that, those are my observations. I like to keep these uh, videos uh, quick, short, uh, as, as best I can. It's hard. Um, you know, when you love something and you're deeply involved in something from a fan perspective, as I have been for all of my 64 years, uh, and uh, I was brought into the USC family by my father, uh, who just bled for USC sports and mainly the football program. So uh, that's me. Never, uh, never miss a game if I can make it to a game. Um, starting to uh, look at what tickets I'm going to acquire and take some of my relatives to the games uh, down in Southern California. I live up north and uh, it's just south of San Jose. So um, we're going to get down there for Friday nights and, and try to get into the tailgate uh, arena this year, unlike previous three years. So uh, COVID's over. Let's, let's move on. Uh, didn't see a lot of the uh, pressures on the special teams um, it's purposely not going to be at full force because of the injuries that occur uh, with special team practice but it, it does leave a question mark because last year our special teams quite frankly were average uh, and maybe a little less than average and uh, of course everybody's talked to death about the defense so uh, defense looked a little better um, 
not going to get overly excited about what I saw or depressed. Uh, it's not that time of year. Let's wait till fall camp. Uh, summer camp, not a lot of stuff comes out of that. Uh, it's pretty much player run practices that's coming up next. Uh, what is in between though is the transfer portal. So I believe we're going to see and hopefully uh, knock on wood. I think my desk is wood. Uh, we should be able to see a very uh, impressive young man coming out of the state of Georgia for our defense. So uh, fingers crossed on that is what it is. Uh, I think Lincoln Riley uh, knows what he needs to do in the TP and uh, shore up the lines. Um, offensive line looks great and deep. Defensive line looks much better on depth, but you can never sleep on that one. You know, be beefing up the defense is priority one, in, in my opinion. The offense looks stacked and it's deep at every single position. So fight on everybody. Enjoy the rest of your week. It's Tuesday uh, April 18th. Take care and uh, again, fight on.